what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so tonight i've decided to forego doing continuing the series because i did a live stream and somebody told me hey that episode 58 that you watched the the movie is the continuance of how that episode ended if you guys don't know 58 was basically i said it was a filler but i didn't know that the first movie that it was like a, a, a preface to the first movie of the series. So I, I left that episode thinking, okay, it's just a one-off and whatever, whatever. But I didn't know there was something else to it. So we're going to take in this movie for today. And then I will do my Hero Academia tomorrow. Um, continuing the main storyline. So yeah, so let's go watch this movie. And then I'll have my comments after. You already know what to do. Go click on that link. Go watch the reaction and come back. It's going to be split up, of course, because, you know, I'm not going to do what? How how long is it? An hour and a half. We're not going to do that in one go. So we're going to do 30-minute parts. I'm, uh, I'm wondering if I should do 20-minute parts. But we'll see how things go because um, the Google Drive is a bit slow right now. But anyways, I'll be watching for feedback as always. So hopefully I don't get too caught up in the show and not check for the feedback anyways thank you guys so much catch you guys for the review oh my god my hero academia two heroes two heroes my god i haven't been that excited over an anime movie in a very long time i think the last anime movie i watched was borrowed to naruto the movie which i enjoyed very much um you know just to be able to see sasuke and naruto fight together again that was enough for me that was tears <laughs> the tears came when i watched that movie seeing naruto and sasuke fight together and this was no different i almost teared up seeing all might and deku in some way shape or form fighting on the same level taking down a villain um that that shot where they got all oh my going full speed and deku is just literally right behind him very symbolic of what what um we're witnessing with this anime which is he um midoriya deku is next in line to be the symbol of peace so that was very symbolic i like that very much but let's talk about the in, the entirety of the movie the, the storyline very good storyline um of course going into this i knew that there there were villains were going to show up but the way how they did it the way how they wrote the story was very i it, it was unexpected but at the same time I could tell the direction of where they were going, which is, is something that happens in pretty much every anime movie. You can kind of determine the storyline by how you see things are playing out. You get what I'm saying? Another thing that caught me by surprise, I didn't know that pretty much the entire um, class was going to be there. Some of them didn't really play a part in the outright, you know, the final battle or anything like that. Um, but pretty much all of them were on the island and all of them got a little bit of screen time, you know, um, so that was pretty cool. I think, I don't think I see the Tate dude. I don't think I, I saw this dude, this dude right here. I don't think I saw him at all. Maybe he was there, but I didn't pick him up. I saw everybody else. Um, yeah, I, I saw everybody else at some point during the, during, um, the movie. So it was it, it was it was very wholesome it was everybody got their chance well not everybody but everybody that was there that was in the building got their chance to shine in some way shape or form it was pretty cool to see um at one point i was thinking um it, it if at this point in the in the storyline is Todoroki going to use his fire side which he actually ended up doing it was pretty cool to see him ignite the nitroglycerin um that you know from it from bakugo sweat from that one dude that they destroyed it's pretty cool that move that he has is pretty nice too i don't think we've ever seen him do that um 
the move that Bakugo did against the Beast guy, I don't think we've ever seen him do that before. That was pretty cool. The explosions, the animation, the sound design as always for 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 um for this show is always on point. Kind of reminds me of back in season one, right? Because we don't really have. There's a couple of those OSTs that we I don't hear anymore because they got some new ones now. All the ones really they real they get you hyped. They hit different. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just such a wholesome movie and they did it right. They they did the thing. And I have nothing but respect for what they did here for this movie. You know what I'm saying? Some people say it's not canon. Um because there's a lot of the storyline. Who knows? You get what I'm saying? A lot of the storyline, I mean, it's can, I could, I could possibly say that this is canon because this is a guy that designed All Might suit. It might not be something that, you know, we don't know when in the actual timeline that we're watching in the regular show, when it does happen, but it does, it feels like canon because there was a lot of stuff that was discussed in it that was like, okay. If this guy is basically All Might's best friend, right, and he designed his suit, they talked about the, the um him being an exchange student from Japan. Um, so it's kind of like All Might's, we learned a lot about All Might's backstory because he went there to learn. I don't know if it's a hero course he went over there to do. We don't know. Or if he just went to college and met Dave because he, you know, he's a, he's a hero. He has quirks. So he's going to save people if he sees people. So all the generations of all my suits, um, you know what I'm saying? The gold edition, the silver age, the golden age, pretty cool stuff. I like that. So, um, this villain, they even brought all for one into the picture. That's why I'm like, how is this not canon? I believe it could be canon because of all the stuff that they talked about. They talked about all for one with him getting involved because of the, you know, if All Might's best friend, you know, want to want to be a villain. I want to help in this because to, whatever it is I have to do to hurt All Might, I am going to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's all for one's mindset. So. Um, that's why he, he, he killed the predecessor, you know what I mean? Um, it's just, it's just such a good movie, man. And I feel so good. I know I want, at one point in there, I, I was say, man, they look so cool. I wish we all had quirks too, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we could do cool stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, <laughs> but what we have to deal with is COVID-19, you know what I'm saying, so thank you guys so much for tuning in, it's a very good movie, I like the structure of it, the plot was very solid, um, they did their best to, you know, show off certain things, when it comes on to, to Dave, the situation with Dave, I understand what he was doing, I immediately picked up on why he did what he did, even before he said it, I knew he was building that for All Might, because there's something he wanted to tell All Might, but he didn't want to tell him, but he, he's like he couldn't tell him because he wanted this plan. You know, he probably was going to tell All Might about the plan at that time when he stopped him in the room. Um, you know what I'm saying? And tell him about this device, you know. Um, and the thing about it is this. At the end, he finally saw what we all were seeing as the audience for these two. It's like, it's good that he's passing on the torch. You know what I'm saying? It's never good to have all these enhancements. Something that we learn also from watching Boruto Naruto the movie, right? It's not good to have all that stuff. That stuff never helps. Hard work. Hard work. And All Might is... He can't tell him the secret of why he's losing his power. You know? He can't tell him. And I, I think maybe if he told him, he could have avoided all of this trouble... And say no matter what he does, he's gonna lose his powers anyway. So he make this enhancement stuff is not gonna help him in the long run. Might help him for a small amount of time, but look at what this device can do, man. You get what I'm saying? So I completely agree with the government taking it away. You get what I'm saying? But I understand why he wanted to get it back. Also, I understand both sides. So 
um so definitely definitely man i really do appreciate you guys for coming through and watching this movie with me i know you guys are gonna enjoy it as much as i did if i'm pretty sure if you watched it already if you never watched it still going it's still a good time man um so i know one i know another movie just came out i think it was last year or this year at some point pretty cool um i haven't seen it but you guys can let me know when i can watch that one also um just like how you guys told me okay i can watch the first movie now just let me know when i can watch the second one i know there's a second one out there okay um so just let me know when i can watch that one after which episode can i watch that movie and i will definitely do a reaction to it okay so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always i never stop saying thank you because you guys are awesome and gratitude is never enough okay hit that like button subscribe if you're new and also leave a comment in the comment section man let's get it we out here peace